here we have Federal lawmakers are face-to-face -face in Ibadan, the Oyo state capital, with their constituents on a platform that seeks to deepen the understanding of the roles and responsibilities of the National Assembly and an opportunity for the constituents to voice their expectations. First, the Speaker of the House of Representatives speaks on the need for constructive engagements such as this. This is an opportunity for education and enlightenment of each and every one of us. It gives legislators a chance to tell their own stories and to hear from their constituents so that from these interactions, we might achieve a level of understanding about the true nature of our democracy and clarity about the responsibilities citizens and legislators owe to each other. Here, talks revolve around security, loans, and other issues aimed at advancing the frontiers of democracy in the country. The issue of borrowing becomes necessary when your resources cannot carry your developmental needs. You have to step out and look for resources. I think what Nigeria should do is they should follow their money. I'm not sure that any other issue has, has taken the attention of this National Assembly as security in the last two and a half years. In fact, the House of Reps went a step further to organize a special security summit about 32 members of the House. I was privileged to be one of the 32 sitting down for one week at the National Intelligence Agency to discuss security and listen to experts and provide solutions. The implementation of constituency projects for people at the grassroots and more dialogue are among other issues of concern for participants here. I think Open Square should be an opportunity to challenge our legislators on the need for a regular engagement with their constituents, even before making budget. How do you know what your people need before you even spell it out to them or even represent them over there at Abuja? Abuja is not the only place. Abuja was not the, the constituents that voted you. The people that voted you are back here at the grassroots. Thank you. I need to listen to them. When they say they give constituency projects to legislators, that's why I said it's not a proper use of language. We appeal. We talk to ourselves in groups and individually, collectively, to talk to those in the executive, those in charge of projects, that please, my people are suffering. I want this to be done. Please help us put it as part of what you are doing. Thought, okay, so th those considerations are given, but it's not for the legislators to executive such projects. It's for the executive to execute.